Hello and welcome to a very special unboxing. Um, one of my first aircraft uh, or flyers for Warhammer 40,000. Haven't really been too persuaded by uh, flying vehicles in the game as of yet. I played a game the other day. Um, a friend used a flyer and it did pretty well. It's very difficult to shoot down. Even though I had an AA, I had the Hunter tank, it couldn't really destroy it. <laughs> So yeah, it's supposed to be AA. I think it would have survived. I think it would have done a little bit better if it had um, interceptor. But and you'd think that it should, seeing it's an AA, but apparently not. Uh, whereas a uh, little Aegis defense line that has interceptor and skyfire and like an Icarus Las cannon. I'm just wondering whether you should just pack one of those in your army every single time because they're they're pretty decent. Anyway, uh, so this is the Space Marine Storm Raven gunship. It, one of these will set you back £50. Uh, I think a Land Raider is 50 or 45 So this may well be the most expensive thing for a Space Marine you can buy at the at the moment. I mean, yes, you could probably buy yourself a Fell Blade or something like that. Uh, but this is in GW's collection anyway. It's probably the most expensive thing you can buy. So, uh, let's have a look. It's quite a thick thick box. Oh, I didn't like show you the back, the back of it. Let's have a little look. So there's the back, showing you as it as a Grey Knight's uh, Storm Raven. It is a little bit fugly. It does look like a like a piece of a Thunderhawk just fell off. Um, I mean, and that's kind of being generous. Uh, it looks very too, too front heavy for it to actually, you know, function. But uh, it probably runs on Space Magic. So yeah, uh, let's have a look. How many sprues do you get in here? Uh, okay, so I'm just move running out of space here. So you get four sprues. So they've tried to do it as minimal as possible. Um, I believe that the new Thunderhawk uh, that's in plastic that they have actually built, um, I think that runs in at five sprues or six sprues, but. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that, it's only rumour and speculation uh, but uh, it's, it's, you know, they're, they're definitely doing one, definitely so first brew, uh, let's have a look now this model is, is kind of quite old, it's been around for a good couple of, two or three years uh, probably more, but anyway, first brew, you've got uh, assault cannon uh, basically two halves of assault cannon, two halves of an assault cannon of, an, of two assault cannons and the same there and the same with the last cannons it's got your hurricane bolters there it's got your your missiles for a missile launcher you've got your canopy and your um, part of the wing and your little space marine that you could quite easily modify to have him sat on a little plastic toilet which is excellent uh, you've got this sprue which again is the kind of like the interior it's got some plasma cannons or side cannons if you want to use them as and it's got some thrusters and some more jet thrusters there and some of the uh, landing gear and the doors and the hatch and everything and this is the main body of the uh, Storm Raven you've got the side panels wh where you'd put the uh, side doors uh, you've got some Blood Angel um, iconography there and Grey Knight's iconography and the same it's repeated on the opposite side so that's excellent. And you've got the, the thruster uh, housings there. And you've got the main uh, bulk of the aircraft again inside part and the, the short stubby wings and the, the tail, the piece of the tail. So that's the four sprues. You also get your flying stand, flying base stand, and you get the clear plastic pieces for the uh, canopy and you get your transfer sheet you get your flying base actual stand you get this little thing which is definitely from this and you get your instruction book which again like I said it's because it's for a few years old gives you lots of kind of smallish pictures that have lots of things uh, going there it's all numbered which directly corresponds to uh, or does it? No, I don't think it does correspond to the numbers on the on the sprue. So they haven't 
Oh, yes, it does. There are some some numbers on the sprue. So, I stand corrected. So, and then it gives you a nice little bit of an art shot there. So, there you go. You got your Storm Raven gunship. That's the unboxing. Join me in part two, where you'll see one. Well, you see this one uh, complete and all the weapon options I've uh, equipped it with. And welcome to part two. So, as you can see, this is the Storm Raven completely finished, more or less. Uh, it's a really nice piece of kit. I really enjoyed making it. The wings are huge, and overall, the the model is is much larger than I uh, anticipated. It's it's a large model. Um, it does look like there's there's not much going on at the front, um, you know, but uh, and and that everything's at the back, and it looks like the wings are a bit too big for it, but. It's a really nice model. It's it's a, it's like a lot of Games Workshop models that you that you see pictures of, and sometimes the pictures just don't do them justice. But when you've made one and it's physically in your hands, and you know you, you can look at it from lots of different angles, it, your opinions kind of change. Now, the parts that I've left off are the parts that will require uh, me to paint them individually. Now, you get uh, I'll sh I'll show you some of the parts, like the f the front um, canopy the cockpit canopy which sits on there I'll have to spray and paint all of that separate um, and one of the reasons is I mean it's it's your choice really isn't it but one of the reasons is because of the the clear glass uh, part that will that will eventually go in there and then you can see all the detail of of your painting for the for the pilot so obviously there's a few bits that I haven't um, glued because they're for um, preparation afterwards uh, but Essentially, it's going to look something similar to that with this fella on as well. Okay, so it's going to look something similar to that. I think that's that's really, really cool. Now, what I've done is I've gone for the option of... Uh, Multi melters. I haven't magnetized anything. I know a lot of people will, but I've gone for multi melters and I've gone for for the assault cannons, mainly because I want to get up close and personal. It's a true transport, isn't it? Let's face it. That's why I've also gone for the hurricane bolters, and I, and it comes with the the storm strike missiles anyway. But this is really close close quarters support aircraft. You fly it in. You drop off your Death Star unit, like your Terminators or or your stern guard, uh, um, if you wish, uh, and then and then you can go into hover mode, or you can just leave the battle and then fly it back on later on and shoot the crap out of things. So the hurricane bolters, they move about. The thrusters, they all move. Um, the door on the back, it's on a hinge, and that opens and shuts, and it's not too difficult to <laughs> pull off. Um, should have uh, should have blessed the machine. It obviously hasn't been blessed by Mechanicus yet, has it, or or whoever? Because uh, that that doesn't normally happen to them. But uh, but anyway, uh, I do think that that's quite small compared to the whole model, and I do think the wings are, are huge. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice model. Uh, I've really enjoyed making it over the past uh, few days. But uh, front door opens like so and I put the landing gear down so I can have it as a showpiece or centerpiece if I do any displays uh, at some point but I mean overall I'd give this difficulty wise to build probably about a three maybe a four but definitely a three out of five uh, difficulty it's more complex than a tank to build because um, of the wings and there's like little separate bits and then there's parts that you shouldn't really glue until afterwards so it's it's not too complex but it's definitely mid middle to to higher range of um, modeling skill I'd say but uh, I've really enjoyed making this if you've seen the first part of the review I think one of these has cost you about 50 pounds now I think that's quite a decent price really it's a large aircraft large flyer with large pieces of plastic on especially on the wings and the thrusters and things is it bigger than a land raider yeah i suppose so wingspan wise i'm going to show you the parts that are left over 
I mean, obviously that's the door that fell off it earlier, which is which is fine. Um, it's only really going to fall off if you're opening and close it and dilly dallying it with it like I did. So these are the spare parts you get here. You get your your las cannons and your plasma cannons spare. You get some uh, like. Uh, artifacts or heraldry that you can put place on the storm raven i didn't place any and if you put choose for the if you opt for the hurricane bolters you can you'll have the the doors spare which are really very similar to the rhino doors but without the ladders they're just, just they're just plain um and you have your where's the missile you have your cyclone missile launcher that would would have gone on the front spare and your heavy bolters, which would would have gone on the front spare. But all those things I need to obviously attach and glue once I've sprayed it and painted it, or while I'm spraying it and painting it. So it's a it's a work in progress for a while. But there you go, there's all the spare parts that you that you'd have left over. So thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. The Emperor protects.